we are going to study the first lesson biography in that we are going to study hamilton who is hamilton and who is r s paul we will see in this presentation so first of all we are going to know about the text the author r s paul attempted to compile the history life history of hamilton who created his uniqueness in the history of physics and mathematics hamilton a boy from the middle class family no any concrete educational background was there he rose as a famous physicist and mathematician he became a professor of astronomy in university of dublin and he developed his own new scientific ideas and mechanics and proved his geniusness in that way he mastered on newton's theory and uh, he reformulated it uh, and known as a it is known as a hamilton mechanics so who is r s ball sir robert strawell ball his lifetime is 1840 1913 he was an irish space expert and mathematician he was irish protestant his father was a government worker at dublin castle he gained his enthusiasm for space science uh, when uh, he wins about the guidance uh, from all of roses Uh, whose six foot reflecting telescope was the biggest on the planet he became professor of mathematics at the recently established royal college of science in dublin and was chosen as a fellow researcher in 1873 in spite of the fact that he took uh, undistinguished as a space expert he became professor of astronomy first at dublin and uh, royal astronomer of ireland and afterward uh, he was there in uh, that university of cambridge where he succeeded john coach adams at the university of Le university laboratory his strong point was promoting space science for he distributed a series of books for that he addressed broadly including voyages through america and christmas addresses at the royal institution his other interest was geometry Sir William Rowan Hamilton he was an Irish physicist astronomer and mathematician who made significant commitments to the mechanics optics and uh, polynomial uh, math as a young person he mastered parts of newton's principle and examined laplace's celestial mechanics twice at the age of 22 Hamilton became a professor of astronomy at the University of Dublin however he was more fascinated in theoretical rather than realistic astronomy his investigations of mechanical and optical frameworks drove him to find new scientific ideas and methods his prominent uh, commitment is maybe the reformulation of uh, newtonian mechanics presently called hamiltonian mechanics This work has demonstrated fundamental to the cutting edge investigation of old style field speculations for example electromagnetism and to, to the advancement of quantum mechanics in arithmetic he is actually uh, most popular for the design of the quaternion uh, quaternion Uh, which is a scientific idea that discover utilizes and uh, utilizes in both hypothetical and applied science specifically for uh, figuring uh, including three dimensional revolutions for example in three dimensional piece illustrations piece vision and the mentality control frameworks of rocket it shows that hamilton had tremendous talent at his early age he had an amazing talent for languages as a youth as a youngster his ability turned to mathematics of astronomy and physics hamilton's father uh, that is very famous personality archibald hamilton did not have enough time to teach william as he was frequently away in england pursuing legal business his father was not a university student at all but his mother sara hamilton nourished very well at the teenage tender age of this william at the age of 5 william had just learned latin 
Greek and Hebrew. He was shown these subjects by his uncle, the Rev. Uh, James Hamilton, who, uh, where, with whom William lived uh, actually for a long time. James was a fine educator. William soon mastered additional languages, but a turning point came in his life at the age of 12 when he came in contact with American Zara Colburn. Colburn could perform astonishing mental arithmetical accomplishments and Hamilton participated in competitions of arithmetical ability with him. It appears that losing to Colburn speak, uh, that sparked Hamilton's interest in mathematics. So, first experience with arithmetic came at 13 years old when he examined that Clairaut's algebra. In undertaking made to some degree simpler as Hamilton was fluent in French at this point. So, at the age of 15, he started to study the works of Newton and Laplace. In 1822, Hamilton found an error in La uh, Laplace's <coughs> that mechanic and uh, therefore he went to the consideration of John Brinkley, the, lawyer, uh, the royal astronomer of Ireland, who said in 1822 Hamilton found a blunder in Laplace's mechanics and uh, this young man, I do not say will be, but he is the first mathematician of his age. Hamilton entered Trinity College, Dublin at 18 years old and in his first year he got an optim in class, class 6. A qualification just granted once in 20 years. So, in his childhood, Hamilton possessed a telescope and turned into a specialist at figuring heavenly wonders. For example, the areas of the that perceivability of obscurations of the moon. Likewise, having gotten very high educations for both the classics and uh, that evaluations for both the classics and science. It was not very abnormal that on 16 June 1827, just at the age of 21 years of age and uh, still an uh, undergraduate, he was chosen as a royal astronomer of Ireland and came to live at Dunsink uh, Observatory where he stayed until his death in 1865. In his initial very uh, stage, a very long time in, at a uh, Dancing Hamilton watched the sky consistently. Observational space science in those days for the most part comprised of estimating star positions, which was not very intriguing for a numerical psyche. But the main reason for ultimately leaving the regular observing completely to his uh, that astronomy assistant Charles Thompson was that Hamilton frequently suffered from illness after having observed. So this is Hamilton is not viewed as one of the extraordinary space experts however in the course of his life he was. His introductory talks in space science was accla very acclaimed. Notwithstanding his understudies they pulled in numerous researchers and artists and even women in those days for striking accomplishments. The artist Alicia Hermans kept in touch with him. Uh, in her sonnet, she wrote the prayer of the lonely student in the wake of hearing one of his talks. So, let's stop here.